In this section, we are going to discuss some default behavior of ES6 classes and also see the usage of static keyword inside our class. Okay, firstly, let's try to comment out our SAM object lock because as of now we'll be working with SAMU object or ES6 classes. And okay, it's only been enabled. Let's check it on the browser once. Okay, perfectly fine. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out my constructor method inside engineering ES6 class. Okay. Now that we are already printing SAMI object here, what do you think the output will be on the console? Well, let's check it. Let's expand it. Hmm. We still see the properties of first name, last name attached to our SAMI object and properly initialized, even though we didn't define any constructor method of engineer ES6 and no super call also. How did that happen? The reason is whenever we don't define constructor method inside our subclass, that is engineer ES6, the constructor of the superclass, which is employee ES6 in our case, will still get called with the passed in arguments. You can think of it as if we don't define constructor method, then JavaScript engine will go ahead and define a constructor for us, which takes in all the arguments and calls super with these arguments. It will be something like this. Constructor. Let's take in all the arguments and call our superclass with these arguments. Dot 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 corresponds to taking all the arguments okay so it will be something like this i'm gonna put it in comments okay and if you also observe our field property won't be there inside it this time of our sami object because the implicit constructor just takes the arguments and calls superclass constructor and the properties only on the superclass will get initialized as a part of our subclass object that's why we don't get to see subclasses own properties because we didn't specify any Okay, let's try one more thing now. Let's keep our constructor commented and let's don't pass any arguments to our SAMI object this time. So I'm gonna remove these arguments. Let's save it. And what do you expect the output this time would be? Let's check it. Let's expand it. Okay, you can still see the superclass fields are there in the object, but they are initialized with undefined. So implicit constructor method is still defined and it will still call our superclass constructor using super. But since we didn't pass any arguments to initialize them, it will be called with zero arguments this time. That's why first name and last name will be undefined as we can see here. To put it simply, if our subclass don't have its own properties to initialize and if we don't have any other things to do it in the constructor apart from super, then there is no need to define the constructor in our subclass. Another thing would be if we choose to define constructor in subclass on our own, then we definitely need to call super inside it. Let's try it actually. Let's comment out our super line of code over here and let's save it and let's find out what happens on the browser now. And we got some error saying this is not allowed before super. This is because execution context or this is only set up when we make a call to super. If we don't call super inside subclass constructor, then execution context is never set and our object has no meaning without execution context. So we have to always make super call inside our subclass constructor if we chose to define it. Okay, let's uncomment our call to super. Also, one of the common misconceptions is that calling super is the first thing that we should do inside subclass constructor. But it's not true. Let's try it actually. So I'm gonna move these lines up and down. So I'm gonna make my this dot field call before a call to super. Let's save it and let's check on the browser what the output will now be. Again, we got the same error saying this is not allowed before super. As we discussed, execution context or this is only set up when we make a super call. If we try to access this before making a call to super in constructor, then JavaScript engine will throw an error. So that's why we need to always make our super call before accessing this. And when you look at this scenario, it feels like calling super must be the first line of code in constructor, but it's not entirely correct because I can write some log inside it before making a call to super like this. Let's say inside engineer a6 and let's save it head back to our browser and there is no error this time and I can successfully see my log over here inside engineer a6. Since I'm not accessing this before calling super here, everything just works fine. So the thumb rule here is we have to call super before using this if we chose to define our subclass constructor and generally we see most of the subclass constructors first line would be super call. But super call need not be the first thing that should be done inside its body as we can write some locks without accessing this. Okay, overall there are two things that we discussed here. If we don't define constructor in subclass, then JavaScript engine will define it for us and also it will call constructor of our superclass for us. 
and if we define constructor method on our own then we need to definitely call super class constructor which sets our execution context before we start using this inside our subclass okay before we wrap up our discussion on classes and move on to react let's discuss one more item which is static keyword inside our class and what it refers to firstly let's remove the locks and let's remove the commented portions which we no longer be required this one and this one and the log inside our engineering ASX constructor. Okay, we are good to go now. We can extend traditional function constructors by attaching properties directly to the function constructor instead of adding them to this or functions prototype. Since function is also an object in JavaScript, we can attach properties to it. That's not a problem at all. Being attached directly over the function, those properties are not related to any object of that function. And so they remain non-accessible for objects. They can be only accessible through the function directly. Let's look at an example of it. Suppose if I need to return a greeting message, say hi, whenever I invoke a method on some function. This greeting method doesn't have any relationship with an object since we are not using this inside it. It's just some static piece of data, say hi, that I need to return from it. So if we put this greeting method inside a function constructor's body or on prototype object, then we can only access that method by creating an object of this function. But there will be times when I just need to access static data from a function constructor without any need of creating a new object. So to facilitate this need, we can directly attach the properties to our function itself and access them through the function name. Let's do that. We have our engineer function constructor over here and let's say we want to attach a greeting method to it. So I'm going to do engineer dot greeting. It's a function and it's going to return some static piece of data, say hi, something like this. Okay. And now let's try to console log it. So now I'm going to access it through my engineer function name directly like this engineer called greeting. I'm going to invoke it. Let's also try to log it uh, or let's also try to access it through our SAM object. So SAM draw, SAM dot greeting. Okay. Let's save it and head over to our browser to check the output now. See, we'll see a first log say hi. So this log corresponds to our engineer.greeting. But whenever we try to access our greeting message through our SAM object, so it told me an error saying SAM.greeting is not a function. So whenever we try to access them through the object created from our function constructor, it throws us the error. Now we can access them only through the engineer function. It means the function name itself. Okay. Now we can do the exact same thing with ES6 class also. Let's attach greeting method to our engineer ES6 class. I'm gonna remove this. Okay, let's comment it out. And now let's copy this method. I'm gonna use the magic of copy and paste to define a method over my engineer ES6 class. Let's paste it and let's change it to ES6. Okay, now let's log it. Dot greeting. Okay, let's comment out this one to have a clear picture that we have only one log enabled, which is calling our engineer six dot greeting. Yeah, there you go. You can get to see the log say hi. So we got the exact same result which we used to get previously while doing function constructors. Since ES6 classes work the same way under the hood, you can attach the properties directly to the class like this that will be only accessible through the class names and they are not inherited by any class instances or the objects created from the class. Okay. This is the old way of doing the things. Right now, we have attached properties outside of our class and the whole point of classes is to attach or bind all the items together inside it. So ES6 provides a newer syntax to achieve the same results. Instead of attaching greeting method outside of our class, we can define it inside of our class itself. So I'm going to comment it out and let's define greeting message inside of our class. Just like a, sorry, greeting method inside of our class, just like a normal method, like this, which is gonna return me some static piece of data, say hi. And to make the method defined directly on the class, but not to its prototype, all we need to do is, we have to use a special keyword static before our method name like this. And that's all. This is as equivalent to this statement. Okay, and one more thing, we can't use greeting method on our SAMI object because these static methods are not inherited by the objects of the class. Let's actually prove it. So I'm going to access my greeting method through the SAMI object like this, SAMI.greeting. 
let's check the output on the browser after saving it there you go you can see a successful log say hi printed over there and it corresponds to our <coughs> it corresponds to accessing of our greeting function through class name engineer e6 and one error message popped up because we tried to access the static method using class object which is a violation so that's why it's saying sammy.greeting is not a function to summarize static methods should be directly called using class names and also they are not accessible to the objects created from the class static methods are often used to create utility helper functions that work with some data which is independent of its objects all right let's move on